Hi, are you ready to start building? Watch this quick video to get you started on your new sand blocks. To begin, let's take a look at what's in your kit. These are sand blocks. These are your charging cables. This is your chassis, your rollerball, your wheels, your gear wheels, your Lego connectors, your Bluetooth dongles, and your app. To begin, we will start by downloading the app called Sam Space Education. To do so, simply go to samlabs.com app and click on the free download button in the educate section. On the website, you can also find lesson plans, activity logs, and teacher's guides. Next, open the app. To make your sign-in super easy, We've teamed up with Microsoft and Google Classroom so that you can use your pre-existing logins to play with Sam. If you don't use Microsoft 365 or Google Classroom, you'll need to make a login, which is still super easy. Simply click on Sign Up, enter your email address and fill in the required fields. Great, now we're in the app. To begin in Sam Space Education, start by saving your first project by clicking on the Untitled section at the top of your interface. Save it as whatever you like and press enter. Now you can start building with the sand blocks. So to demonstrate, we'll be using a sand button. To turn on the blocks, press the power icon at the top. Press and hold this firmly until it turns red. That means it's on. To turn it off again, simply hold the same power icon until the red light turns off. Since sand blocks have Bluetooth connectivity and all of the programming happens in the app, we need to connect the blocks to the app by pairing. To pair, we firstly need to make sure your computer's Bluetooth is on. Then, we need to turn on our SAM block. So let me turn on my button again. Click on Connect SAMs. Now you'll see a screen with two columns. The column on the left is filled with your SAMs. The column on the right are the SAMs that are available to pair devices. To pair, you'll just click on Pair. You'll also see that the block both on the screen and in real life will flash the same colour so you know you're pairing the right block. Now click the check mark. The blocks now jump into the My Sam's column and the block now beams a white light both on the screen and in real life to note that it is yours. Close the window and you'll see your available blocks in the top left hand corner. So My Sam button is an input because it sends a value to other blocks. Let's connect your button to an output like a Sam light. An output reacts to the signal received by an input. So to connect them, we simply drag on our SAM light and SAM button and you'll see it's adopted a color on the screen and in real life as well. Now you'll see that there's an enclosed circle for the SAM button and an open circle for the SAM light. This means that the button is an input and the light is an output. To connect the button to the light, we simply click on the closed circle and drag it until it meets the open circle and we let go of the mouse and the line remains. And that's your first circuit. Now press the button to see what happens. Okay, now we know how to connect the hardware together, let's mix in a soft SAM, one of our software features within SAM Space Education. If we scroll to the left panel, you'll see we've got different categories of soft SAMs. If we come over to the behavior section, we can find what's called a toggle. If we simply drag it onto the screen like we did before, we can now connect the button to the left circle of the toggle and the right circle of the toggle to the sound line. Now press the button and see what happens. It's as easy to disconnect as it is to connect, so we just need to disconnect the lines from the top circuit by clicking on the X when we pan our mouse over the line. Scroll back over to the left panel and grab a cycle RGB soft sound and drag it on the same as before. Simply connect the button to the RGB soft sound and then the soft SAM to the light. Now when you push the button three times, watch what happens to the light. You've added in the RGB soft SAM, which cycles the color of the light from red, green, and then to blue. You can always add in more soft SAMs to make your creations really come to life. Let's try and mix the toggle and the RGB soft SAM together in the circuit. You can also add in soft SAMs by dropping them into the middle of a pre-existing line like so. So now we have the button to the toggle to the RGB to the light. When I press the button, 
Press again and then press one more time. You've now made a switch that changes color every time it's pressed, simply by adding in two bits of software. The left hand panel will be the key to your success here in Samspace Education, and you can use anything from Morse code to custom code to build your own unique inventions. You can also connect your sand blocks to Lego. Don't forget, you'll need to charge your blocks. You can do this by connecting your blocks to your computer by using the USB cable included in the kit. To see examples of more awesome things you can build in your classroom, visit samlabs.com. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send them in to education at samlabs.com. They're here to help you use one block to build a million inventions.